Hey there, my name is Peyton Macy's and you're listening to AnyCast. AnyCast is about anything and everything. We have some cool guests on sometimes, or sometimes it's just me. But enjoy today's episode and I hope you learn something new. It's the final, or not the final, sorry, we're a little over halfway in the series here of doing Indiana Jones movies. I, uh, just minutes ago, uh, not even 10 minutes ago, got done watching Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, Indiana Jones Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, for the first time in a very long time, and I gotta say, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I have a lot of thoughts on this movie, uh, and I'm honestly going to probably spend most of this podcast talking about uh, my hopes for the end of Indy, uh, with Indy 5. I might go watch it this Friday or Saturday, if not this week. I'm going to probably go watch it next week on July 4th, um, and then get the review out on that Wednesday, but... You know, after watching Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, I remember it being my least favorite Indiana Jones. And if you remember uh, a couple podcasts ago, I watched Temple of Doom and I was like, eh, I don't really, I don't really like it. I, I remember it being so much better, but it's just like, you know, the first half of the movie, it's an entire hour of essentially nothing, in my opinion, this very boring and dull story. And it's, like, not even super interesting. It's like, oh, there might be, like, some cult. And then they finally get to the cult part. And even then, you know, like, some of the scenes are bleh. But, of course, the thing that I love most about Temple of Doom and one of the things I love most uh, about Indiana Jones is Indy's outfit and some of the music uh, in that. You know, like, Indy has his very iconic Temple of Doom outfit. He has the machete. He has the whip. And there's some of the music in that movie is just top-notch, right? And then, you know, we go back to the first Indiana Jones. I absolutely loved it. Last week with the third Indiana Jones, I absolutely love that one. It's almost better than the first Indiana Jones, in my opinion. And then we get to this one, and I was like, I said, I really hope this blows away my mind compared to the times that I've seen it in the past because I remember it just being a weird movie a really weird and strange and not really cohesive or impressive film well I have different thoughts on it now this movie is very interesting I will say that there are parts that are very weird and there are so many times in this movie when they should have all died but they didn't the amount of times a car ran over their heads and they just conveniently ducked in time to not get their head taken off with that car, or the amount of times they fell off a cliff and just didn't die from impound on a rock, is it's insane. Um, the, I guess they're gods in this movie, and they just are freaking immortal the entire time. I don't know. But besides that one complaint, this movie is pretty good. It's not better than the third or fourth, but I think it's definitely better than Temple of Doom. In my opinion, this movie, of course, has an older Harrison Ford. He's a little bit old, you know, it's a little bit like, hey, can he really do this stuff? And then there's Shia LaBeouf in there as Mutt Williams, who we actually later understand is Indiana Jones's son. This movie has a very interesting uh, plot, something that I think they should have done for indiana jones 2 which is something with mystical beings they're talking about these old ancient gods of the mayans you know in this ancient mythological city of gold and 
when I was watching it and he was explaining, Indiana Jones was explaining to Mutt in the cafe about this, I'm just thinking to myself, dang, if they did something like that, but with like, you know, uh, a, uh, you know, like the mythology of that part of the world that they're in during uh, Temple of Doom, I think that would have been so much cooler instead of just having some cult being. I mean, they could have still had that, but they could have played an aspect in there with gods and goddesses, you know, and it would have been like something insane. This movie takes Mayan mythology and, you know, does all this fun stuff. And it's honestly, when I was watching it, I was thinking to myself, this movie reminds me almost of Pirates of the Caribbean for some reason because of the way that the adventure is set up, the adventure style, some of the cinematography and some of the lighting choices. It just kind of reminded me of Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm kind of wondering if George Lucas and... uh Spielberg were actually inspired by pirates or something for this fourth film because I know I think I heard or read somewhere that it was actually Harrison's idea to do a fourth one and he talked to George about it and George was like you know what that sounds like a fun idea and then Spielberg was like I don't really want to do this movie but I I guess and so they ended up doing this and you know when this movie came out this movie was highly criticized highly highly disliked by critics and fans alike because it was a little bit ridiculous and I can see that it's very ridiculous at points but it's like a fun movie because you can kind of just laugh at it sometimes and then other times in the movie I'm like you know they actually did a really good job with this film especially the scenes of basically the beginning of the movie to after Indiana Jones is staring into the uh, skull I think it's well written, especially like the mythology of everything and the setups and the adventure scenes and the action scenes. I mean, some of it's a little bit goofy, like are you, like a bar fight with a bunch of college like frat boys and greasers. Like, are you, what what is going on? Um, and then, you know, you have other parts of the movie that are just like very goofy especially in the second half of the movie that's why i'm saying like the first half of the movie in my opinion is a lot better of course nuking the fridge is ridiculous but you know it is it is what it is but you know overall this movie is really good um you know the movie follows indian jones and he's kind of like he's a uh, under kgb custody in the beginning and they're trying to find out uh, this certain artifact and they realize that oh it's this crystal skull and this crystal skull has knowledge and it comes from a skeleton of an alien so the entire skeleton of this alien is a crystal they end up getting to this place in the final uh, part of the movie and it's this high council of i think like 12 aliens um honestly how it was set up kind of looked like the jedi council in my opinion i'm like dang did george just like reuse stuff and just change it up and make it look uh, Mayan like <laughs> but you know it, it's a lot of fun once you get to that part in the movie uh, and then all the alien skeletons as the room is turning into the massive uh, or really the spaceship is turning on because this entire temple was built on a spaceship and the walls start crumbling and everything the alien skeletons uh, start merging together because mystical, mystical powers, you know, and the things going around and around, and it becomes one alien that actually gives all the knowledge to this KGB uh, girl, and she's like getting all the knowledge, and then her, uh, she doesn't want it anymore, but she, that's what she asked for, and her uh, brain ends up like burning, her eyes become on fire, and she just melts, or not melts, but I mean, she kind of melts, but she basically turns into like a pile of ash and then is transported on that thing. It's interesting stuff, you know, like the effects are a little bit goofy now. But overall, this movie was really fun. I mean, it's definitely not one that I would watch again super eagerly. I'm not going to be just sitting around and be like, you know what was a fun movie that I should watch again is Kingdom of the Crystal School. Like, I would probably do that every, like, two years or so. I don't know. Just, like, if it's 
if it's a movie that somebody's like, hey, you want to watch this movie? I'll be like, sure. Like, I don't care. It's not like, for instance, somebody saying, hey, you want to watch Rocky Five? I'm going to be like, no, I do not want to watch Rocky Five. But, or even Temple of Doom, I would still rewatch it because I think that this is one of my favorite movie franchises. Um, maybe just because of the adventure aspect in it, but I just love this franchise so much because everything that's in there, the mythology that it builds in most of the movies, of course, some better than others, uh, the adventure sequences, the characters are really lovable. We get to see the legacy of these characters, especially in the original trilogy, specifically the first and the third one. Um, in fact, they actually play on the fact um that sadly, uh, uh, Indiana Jones's father and Marcus Brody have both passed away. And it was really sad, you know. I, I forgot about that aspect of the movie, but he's like mourning the death of them um, a little bit, you know. And he's looking at their photos and he's just kind of like remembering the good old days. Uh, it's a pretty cool scene. But, you know, like overall, this movie's great. Um, I am, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little concerned about Indiana Jones' Dial of Destiny. I've heard things about it that I'm just like, ooh, I don't know about this one. But also some people are saying it's very fun. I don't think it's going to be better than any of the movies, to be honest. It maybe could beat this movie if it's just super fun and lighthearted, which I've kind of heard it is. It's not. It's not trying to be the best Indiana Jones movie. It's just an Indiana Jones movie that hopefully, for most fans, is better than the fourth. I don't even think it can be better than the fourth. But I'm trying to, I'm going to go in there with an open mindset, you know. And I'm just going to hope that this movie actually is really great. With that being said, I do have some expectations. When I was watching the movie, I thought to myself, you know what, Indiana Jones might be able to die. And I know I said in the last one, he's immortal. When they nuke the fridge, I thought to myself, nuclear radiation happens. And he just stands there looking at the mushroom cloud, right? I believe that maybe he could have been nuclear, uh, nuclearly poisoned and that this radiation could potentially poison him and he could die. Now, there is the slight possibility that I don't see happening, and if it happened, I would be a little mad, is if this movie takes place before Crystal Skull. If that happened, I think it would be bizarre, because you already have this new girl who, from the basis of everything, looks like she's going to take over the Indiana Jones franchise. I know they were going to do an Indiana Jones TV show with her, but it already got canned because of terrible reviews from this movie. So with that being said, I hope that he does, Indiana Jones does live, but if they kill him, the only justification is radioactive poisoning. If they try to make something explanation in the movie, I'm going to be like, what? And I hope if they do kill him, which I do have a feeling they will, that he will die in a noble way, in a very cool way. I don't even know what this Dial of Destiny is. I don't know what it's based off of, if it's, a, if it's even based off of a real mythology, like what this thing is. I have no idea what it is. I'm just hoping that this is a good, fun, and enjoyable movie. Um, so yeah, that's really my thoughts on uh, Crystal Skull and you know, Indiana Jones, King of the Crystal Skull, and what I want out of the new movie. Um, but, I mean, hey, this has been really fun. It's not even over yet. I am going to go watch the new movie, and I'm going to give my review. And then after that, it's still not even over. We're going to still have one more last review. But, I mean, we're nearing the end of this, and it's just been a lot of fun. You know, I've had a lot of fun rewatching each and every one of these movies. Um, they're all cool for different reasons, of course, but yeah, I mean, it's just been so much fun to watch these movies. Um, I did want to speak to something. I was going to have a rocky week at the beginning of July, 
I'm actually not going to do Rocky Week. I'm actually going to push my Rocky film reviews until fall. So I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to do that. I might review Creed, probably not. Um, We'll probably just look at the original five Rocky movies starting in November. Yeah, I'm going to probably do it in November. Uh, Just, or sorry, not the five, six Rocky movies. So I'll probably start that up in November. Uh, Actually, no, I'll probably actually end up starting it in... eh, I might do that in September, actually. I think I might review it all in September in a little... We'll have a cliffhanger, and then we'll get probably back to it in November. I'm not sure. I'm going to plan that out, but we will be watching the Rocky series. There was a couple of movie series that I was just thinking about, and I was like, you know what? I I really want to watch those with you guys. Uh, And, you know, I I just think it would be super duper fun to, like, watch some movie series that I just love and do a little event like this. I know, of course, I did this because I was like, hey, new Indiana Jones movie? Bet we got to do this. Um, I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated, though, on some movie series. Uh, if you guys ever catch me on a live, please do recommend those. If you guys you know, are a personal friend or family member and you have a movie or a movie series that you would like me to review, send me your requests communicate with me in any way you know there's also a spotify a link where you guys can give me your voice messaging your voice messages there's also an email that i have there's a lot of ways you guys can get into contact with me i love hearing from you guys and hearing what you guys want me to do the other day i was writing a script for an upcoming video i'm not going to spoil it but i was just thinking about this director's movies and i was like dang we should do I mean, we're gonna we're gonna definitely re-review one of his films this year because it turns thirty. But yeah, I mean, there's just some great stuff, you know. Um, I had a lot of fun plans with movies and music this year, all throughout the year. It doesn't stop at summer, especially with the music. I actually have, you know, Metallica Mondays. I think October. I'm gonna say we're gonna take off October, and then we're gonna resume it with uh, Guns and Roses November. Um, I'm going to have some november episodes with Guns N' Roses album reviews. Uh, and I'm sure we'll do some Christmas albums, of course, in the middle of December. You know, do some Christmas albums. Uh, but yeah, with all that being said, I hope you guys have a great, great, great day. I... I'm excited to see you guys on July 1st because that is this Saturday. If you guys didn't know, July 1st is this Saturday. Uh, we're going to be listening to American Pie, the album. Uh, I'm excited to review that one. Um, so yeah, just you know, keep up to date with that. Um, I am working on the second Indiana Jones iceberg. More than likely, it'll come out when my sixth, uh, my Indiana Jones sonnenberg cut uh review comes out probably that week when it's on spotify i'll upload the spotify podcast of both icebergs combined on here um but yeah with all that being said hope you guys have a great one talk to you guys real soon and always 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 remember if you want to become an archaeologist spend less time in the library more time in the field.